Hello, it's the Lindelof videos. Find the intersection of curves on an interval. This is AP Calculus, AB. When the going gets tough, Lights Out is called in with her calculator. Okay, so because C. Lindelof had no idea how to do this, I'm going to explain today. <laughs> okay, so. Instead of making a piecewise function to do something that's on an interval, you can use such that. So that's what we're going to do. So the first function is cosine x as f of x. And then the second function is 2 minus cosine x. And that's going to be g of x. So what C. Lindelof was doing was putting in that as a piecewise function, which was as one, one piece. And then putting in the like cosine x here, and then the interval here, and then storing it as f of x. But that was giving the wrong answer, so we're not going to do that. What we are going to do, because we want to see where f of x and g of x intersect. So we're going to say solve. for f of x equals g of x, comma x. And then here's where, this is another thing C. Lindelof did wrong. When he was trying to use such that, he put it in here, but that doesn't work, so you shouldn't do that. You should put it on the outside. So such that, and our interval is going to be 0, is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2 pi. So if we put that in, it'll give us the right answer, 0 or 2 pi. For some reason, if you did it with a piecewise function and put the piecewise function in up here and then just said solve f of x equals g of x and didn't include this part, it would only give you x equals 0, and it would leave out the x equals 2 pi, and we still don't really know why it did that. But if you use such that, everything will be better. And then another interesting thing you can do with such that is if you go and you want to graph it, you can still graph it on the interval by using such that instead of using the piecewise function. So let's say we want to graph our f of x such that our interval is true. So 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 pi. And there it's on the interval. And then you can do the same thing with g of x, and it'll still show you interval. So that's how you do that. So you should subscribe to see Lindelof for more videos from Lights Out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This Burton, C. Lindelof does bring in the big guns when things are going bad for him. So that's what happened today. Um, thanks for watching the video. What, one thing I would add to, to lights out there is that this is particularly important when you have, a period, when you have periodic functions, when they're going to meet over and over and over again. So uh, you guys, uh, hopefully you feel the love for lights out. She's awesome. Thank you very much.